So in this video, we're going to be going through some examples of completing the square. Now, in all of these cases, you'll notice that we've got only 1 as the coefficient of the x squared. The number in front of x squared is just 1. Um, you may be asked to deal with problems where it's not 1, and we are going to deal with that in a later video. So if we start off with x squared plus 2x minus 3, what we need to do is we need to think about halving this number, this coefficient of x here. So we've got x and then half of that number, so we've got plus 1 squared, OK? Uh, but then that's too much. So we take away the square of that number. We always take away the square of that number. So 1 squared is just 1. So if I write it like that, then we'll know and we'll remember what we're doing there. So we take away 1 squared, and we've also got this minus 3 on the end as well. OK? So this bit is coming from the x squared plus 2x, and then we've still got the minus 3 on the end. So we've got the x plus 1 squared, take away 1, take away 3, so minus 4. So number 2 x squared minus 4x plus 5. So we're going to do x and then half of the minus 4, so minus 2 squared. Take away this number squared, so minus 2 squared. OK, now because we're always taking away and a, a negative squared is a positive, we don't really need to write it as bracket minus 2 squared. If we just write it, as take away 2 squared, OK, then it makes it a little bit easier for our notation. And we've still got the plus 5. So we've got x minus 2 squared, take away 4, plus 5, so plus 1. Number 3, we're going to have x and then half the minus 8, so minus 4 squared, take away minus 4 squared, so take away 4 squared, and then we've got the plus 1 on the end. So we've got x minus 4 squared minus 16 plus 1, so minus 15. Then we've got number 4. So we're going to have x plus 3 squared. Half the 6 is positive 3. Take away 3 squared. And we've also got the added minus 9 on the outside. So we've got x plus 3 squared, minus 9, take away 9, so minus 18. Right, now for number 5, we've got x, and then we've got just this plus 1x. So we're going to have a half the 1, so we're going to have plus a half squared, like that. Now we still need to take away a half squared. Now, I will use a bracket there, because I've got to remember that I'm squaring both the numerator and the denominator. And we've got minus 1. So we're going to have x plus a half squared. Now, a half squared there is a quarter. So we've got minus a quarter, minus 1. Now, it would make sense at this point to write 1 uh, with the same denominator here, so we can combine those two fractions. So 1 is 4 over 4, 4 quarters. So we've got x plus a half squared minus a quarter, take away 4 quarters, so minus 5 quarters. Let's look at number 6. So we've got this time x minus half of minus 3, so minus 3 halves squared. We've got to take away the 3 halves squared. And we've got this minus 2, this extra minus 2 on the end. So we've got x minus 3 halves squared. Now this is going to be 9 over 4, because you've got to square the top and the bottom of the fraction. So minus 9 quarters. And we want to write the minus 2 in terms of quarters, so minus 8 quarters. So we're going to have x minus 3 halves squared minus 9 quarters, take away 8 quarters, is minus 17 quarters. And then finally, we've got number 7. So we're going to have x 
plus half the seven, so seven halves squared. Take away seven halves squared. And we've got this added five halves on the end. So we've got the x plus seven halves squared in the bracket. That can stay the same. Now here we've got minus seven halves squared. So square the top, square the bottom, so minus 49 quarters. And we've got five halves there, so if we write that in quarters, that'll be 10 quarters, so plus 10 quarters. So we've got the x plus 7 halves squared, and minus 49 quarters plus 10 quarters will get me to minus 39 quarters. OK? And that is how we can complete the square with these straightforward examples. Okay? It gets a little bit more fiddly when you're dealing with fractions, but it's the same process each time.